Now by the head coach of the Colonials, Derek Schooley. And Derek, the Holy Cross gets the win tonight. And it's, it's just awful tough to get sweeps in this league. Absolutely. And uh, give them a lot of credit. They did they did a lot of things well. They, they played hard. They competed. They pinned us in our end. And they were... Uh, they were very good tonight, and they uh, forced us out of our comfort zone a little bit. They were faster than last night, and and uh, they took advantage of their opportunities. And I feel really bad for Brooks Ostergaard because he was excellent, and he has been getting zero support lately. And he didn't get a he only got one goal against uh, Bentley in, in his favor, and tonight none. And and when you get only one goal in two games, <laughs> you have to be perfect. And Unfortunately for Brooks, they got one by him. And, but that was, like I said, uh, we uh, they were they were much better than us. Give them a lot of credit. Yeah, Brooks, such a good goaltender, and and we're always marveling at how calm he is out there all the time. He's 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 just so cool out there, and nothing seems to phase him. No, he was, uh, you know, the only my only complaint with his with the with the game was probably his puck play, but uh, you know he got a little caught out of the net a couple times, but. He, he made every save look easy, and you know what, he's playing sick today, so I give him a lot of credit for, for how he played and how he competed, and he deserved a better faith than that. Derek Kump getting the start, his first start of the year, Coach, and he did the job. He's got two career wins now, both against us. Um, he probably would hope that, you know, every time we played, uh, he would play, but, uh, you know, he made the saves he had to. We didn't really pressure him. Everything was perimeter. And uh, they boxed us, boxed us out, and we didn't have a lot of determination to get to the net, and um, he made the saves he had to. It just didn't seem uh, like the offensive flow could get going. It just seemed out of sync. Well, when you lose Furman South, and we're down to, um, we're down to um, 11 forwards, and we've got to rotate a little bit, it just doesn't get us uh, in the, um, the flow or the emotion that you want to be able to just go roll the lines and uh, we were a little out of sorts the whole game and we just didn't have the same jump or the emotion that we had uh, the night before. PK always solid and was again tonight kept you in the game really especially killing that five man uh, five minute major in the first period. That was our one bright spot of the first period other than Brooks's play was was uh, our penalty kill and our penalty kill was excellent we needed to play with the same sense of urgency um, in five on five that, and five on four on the power play that we did with uh, the penalty kill. And unfortunately, we didn't play with that same sense of urgency. But like I said, I give a lot of credit to Holy Cross. They came in with a, a good game plan tonight, and uh, they, they, they made one goal stand up, which is a good win on the road for them. Coach, one guy, uh, another guy that we don't talk about too often, Ron Kramer. He must just be a nightmare to play against. Well, he plays hard. He competes, and his defensive game has, has really evolved this year. He hasn't scored a goal yet. But he just uh, continues the battle, and, uh, he, and when it comes, it's gonna gonna come in bunches, and hopefully it comes sooner than later because we're running out of games in his senior year. So, uh, but he he plays hard, and we just need to, need to make sure that we take care of uh, um, stick penalties. Ron didn't get any tonight, but uh, he's had a history of them. But he's been really good this year. So, um, like I said, uh, Ron plays hard, and I expect nothing more from him. Coach, uh, let's take a quick look ahead. You got Connecticut on the road next weekend, then a bunch of home at homes, huge games down the road. But uh, first things first, what do you know about uh, the Connecticut Huskies? Well, another excellent goaltender, Garrett Bartis, is very good, and and uh, they've got uh, a lot of their young team. They got Cole Schneider, and and uh, they got a, the Harris kid who who uh, scores a lot of points, and Gerke, their defenseman's leading the uh, Atlanta Hockey in uh, scoring for a defenseman, and. Um, you know we need to get healthy and we need to we need to have a sense of urgency because you know we sat a couple guys out tonight that that uh, probably could have done the exact same thing the guys tonight did and that's a sad sad thing about it. All right, coach. We'll get him <laughs> next week. Thanks for joining us. Thank here. you, Robert.